Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Wednesday, February 7, 2024. I pray that you are all doing okay. I pray that the Lord will continue to watch over you and keep you, and may He continue to bless you. Our reading today comes to us from Psalm chapter 8, reading verse 1 to 8. And it says, O Lord, O Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. 2. Out of the mouth of babes and suckling as thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mayest still the enemy and the avenger. 3. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visited him? Verse 5. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. 6. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. Verse 7 says, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beast of the field, eight and last, the fowl of the year, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the path of the sea. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His holy word. Today, we are reminded that the hurt belongs to God. Everything that is on this earth, God made them for His glory. The scripture says, The hurt is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Everything in it, from the heavens above to the hurt beneath, God made everything. He made you, He made the animals, He made the trees, He made the solar system, and because of his greatness and because of all that we can see we know that God is good and that he is great when you look at creation it testify of the greatness of God vast beyond this universe we can see the extent of his magnificent power and he has created everything for his glory and his glory alone. So no one can state any claim to anything in this universe because it all belongs to God. And so when we observe creation, I can't understand why is it that there are still people who believe that there isn't a God. They rather believe in the fiction of this whole evolutionary process or evolution rather than believing in the living God of heaven, creator of heaven and earth. But this only proves how much Satan is trying to discredit God. And so he used all these mediums and all these different methods to creating people mind the illusion that they do not need God because if there isn't a God I am accountable to no one and that is why you'll hear people a lot of times say oh God is in their heart or you know something like that they don't mean it the way you might understand it they are saying a lot of times that they are their own God. So it's not a case where they are acknowledging the true God of heaven. They are just simply saying that they are their own God. So the, the, the idea of God is within them, however they want to term that. But for you and I who study the word of God and understand the word of God, we know that this being, this powerful being who is God, exists beyond this heaven beyond this universe and he is the one that made you and made me 
the Bible tells us that we were made a little lower than the angel. That is significant. Angels are powerful beings. And the Bible says that we are just a little lower than them. But at the same time, we are nothing except God make us into something. What is man? The Bible says we are nothing without God. So instead of beating our chest in the face of God, we need to humble ourselves because God can wipe us out in the blink of an eye, just like he created us in the blink of an eye. But because of his extended mercies, we believe that we can treat God anyhow and we can just push our fist in his face. But we need to show God our gratitude. We need to be respectful and we need to be humble because it is out of love that he has created us. It is out of love. He gave us this vast earth, this universe to call our home. It's not that he didn't have anything else to do, but because we are important to him and he loves us. Right? And he gave us dominion in the Garden of Eden when he created man. He gave them dominion over creation. Isn't that what Genesis says? Or we should be responsible steward in managing God's property. And so when we look around, there's evidence all around to tell us that God is real. This world didn't come out of any big bang it came about from the hand of God. And so, evidence of God, we can see in us, in the sense that when we look at ourselves, the Bible said that we were created in, in His image, and He took the time to form us. And so, because of everything that He has done for us, and because of His constant favor on our life, we need to give Him the praise that is due to His name. Creation, praise God. Why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't I? And so if you feel there is nothing for you to praise God about, look at yourself. You are more than enough evidence to praise God. And so friends, may God continue to bless you and keep you and his face continue to shine upon you and give you peace. Amen.